beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm really happy you are here today. Happy to be channeling for you. My name is Christine, Twin Flame, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Welcome to another Twin Flame Tarot reading. Twin Flame Love Tarot reading, Twin Flame Love reading. This is, well, it's always the case at the Tarot Closet that your readings include love messages, Twin Flame love messages reading. Channeled love messages from your Twin Flame, messages from your person. Channeled messages from their higher self. I'm going into today's reading feeling like this is a Twin Flame energy update. However, <laughs> how I come into a reading is always going to differ to how it turns out. So let's see if that's the case. It's the case really anyway, but is it going to be heavy on love messages from your twin flame, from spirit guides, angels, and ancestors? Heavier on what's going on with them, what's going on with you? Let's see. I want to tell you I saw this just now cutting the deck. The energy that was coming in. So this isn't surprising, it's the Six of Cups. And the Chariot card was in the, the last reading I kind of had that I didn't clean up for. And I had cleaned up and I was of course shuffling a lot before I'm into your reading. And I kept seeing it. And now here it is being shown again. I'm not sure of the significance of this quite yet. It's all, it can always be about somebody literally traveling, whether it's to each other or just separately in your lives. It can also be around messages, but it can be a lot of things, and we're really coming in here to the reading. But we are seeing the Six of Cups, and this isn't surprising. It's the Sun and Scorpio energy. Twin Flames, you are here in this energy, and it is a confirmation. Well, <laughs> here we go. It is a confirmation here with the Chariot that... Their feelings for you are very much flowing at the moment. Not that they're not always flowing, but they're really thinking a lot about you. This is a nostalgic energy, the Six of Cups. And yeah, there, there's reunion energy here. So can it be somehow of seeing each other or talking? It could. It's real early. I'm not going not gonna to jump the gun here. But because... A lot of times this is a dreamy energy too, you know, of when they're going to see or talk to you again and or talk to you again. Maybe for some of you, you've never even met in person, which is real common on the Twin Flame journey. So whatever your situation is, but they are, they're definitely thinking a whole lot about you. They're also holding on to, as you can see right here, very prominent in the front, the Five of Cups or the energy, I should say. The Mars and Scorpio energy here and that's a lot of regret and they're missing you so I'm going to tell you that they're definitely missing you a lot of feelings are moving here which is this going to change the outcome you know something sooner is this changing what's going on in their life and how they're dealing with things because it is the chariot cancer energy moon energy you know and that's the subconscious energy around a lot of, well, a lot of the feelings, a lot of the emotional energy, the subconscious, what's been hidden, what they've been, I feel, hiding from themselves. So yeah, that energy of the chariot riding the wild cat and holding onto a scepter here, which is empress energy. Sometimes we see also the king of pentacles with the scepter, but you know, we think of the scepter, we think of the empress. In any case, the chariot, it's here on the chariot. And that is, of course, also moving some obstacles out of the way. And some of that is for your twin flame, balancing of divine feminine and divine masculine energies, because everybody, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energies, and we all are sometimes out of whack, you know? So that's one thing that is going on here. I can tell you that. And that's allowing them to move in some ways. Is this around plans, actual physical like decisions in their life? Is this just about all the emotions coming up? Again, we need to see some more. But that scepter is, well, it's starting and growing things, you know? It's very powerful. Power of life here. Connected to the stars. 
to fate. Connected to, I want to say, the stars aligning too for things to move forward. So what exactly is moving forward? Could this be reunion energy in seeing each other or talking? It could. Again, we need a lot more. But I'll tell you, they're missing you. And they regret the way that things have been left, leaving you feeling like it wasn't real somehow, you know, that the love isn't there and that's not true. They're regretting that. So that's some strong energy coming through already. All the decks that are coming in are linked below. You'll also find all the playlists, of course, your Twin Flame readings on your Twin Flame journey. Lots of them down there, so feel free to explore You'll also find all signs tarot readings and all 12 zodiac sign love readings, readings, and those are all no contact, no communication under and separation, but they're not always about the twin flame journey. Just so you know, if you're drawn to those readings, there's most likely something there for you that you need to hear, needed to see. I'm channeling for you in January 20. 2024, <laughs> having a brain fart there, and you could be here in real time, Twin Flame, but you could also be here for sure many months, many years later even, and that's really common here at the Tarot Closet, in particular with the Twin Flame readings. So whether you're here in real time or you are here much later, welcome. It's This is a faded connection. It means you're meant to be here. There's something here for you to hear, see, something that is, has drawn you here. Look at the energy coming through. The Six of Cups is back. The Six of Cups is back. And it's here with the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy, which is a collaborative energy. It's everybody kind of showing up. So I'm wondering, is this about the, look at the collab, this is the working together energy, you know? And is this around each of you doing the work you need to do in order to come together when it's time? very much a message that is coming through. It's the three, it's the divine number, divine timing. It's also around communication and it's the three, you know, the beginning, the middle, the end, life, death, rebirth. So yeah, it's doing the work here, but I'm also getting the feeling that it could be around some communication. Let's see. But literally, busy bee, look, somebody here is picking apples, somebody else is showing us their beehive with the pentacles on them. So this is really around the work that's getting done. You know, what you're doing, what your twin flame is doing to get you where you want to go. You know, in life now, in 3D, okay? So that's including rela other relationships, money, jobs, everything really. So whatever's needing to get done now. All the while too, there is a message that just came through that while this is happening, even when you are not together in the 3D, you're always together. Your souls, of course, it's one, one soul here. And the separation, there's never a separation in the 4 and 5D. So this is also a message while that's going on, while you are living your life in the 3D and while your twin flame is living their life, you are collaborating because the work they're doing and the work that you're doing is ultimately going to benefit this journey. And while that's happening, know that they're thinking about you, that they miss you. And yeah, I'm hearing love you because they're feeling... I don't love guilt. I feel like that's just one of those emotions we should do away with. But there is some guilt here. That five of cups, they're regretting the way that they left things. They're also, I don't know if it's just your twin flame, but feeling a little bit, I want to say, sorry for themselves. Remember, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and let the rest go. If you're ever feeling things coming in vice versa, then that's how it is. If we're reading love messages or channeled song messages and you feel like you're sending them, then you're sending them. It's up to you, not me. And a lot of times messages will be coming through that I'm bringing you, but a lot of times some of what you need to see and hear, you're gonna find it for yourself within the reading, whether it's something I'm saying, showing you, 
something that I'm reading to you in a message, you might be picking up on something completely different and that's perfectly normal and that's how it's supposed to be. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show our twin flames, divine masculine, divine feminine, what they need to see and hear today. Aho. Okay, so the two of pentacles, Capricorn and Saturn energy. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I mean, this is real clear, you know. Look at that infinity symbol here. Of course, connecting you to your twin flame journey. And, well, that's the balance. Balancing things out, I want to say also in your life, both of you. There's, feels like there's a lot going on in terms of other relationships, money, work. So yeah, you're both here. And this is more of work that work that's going on. The balance. And of course, infinity also connecting with balance, but also connecting with the renewal. And that's getting through every cycle as it's coming. So there is something going on here, a new cycle, which is not surprising. The two of swords in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse, the Hermit energy, where your Twin Flames energy is the strongest. The King of Wands, really trying to make a decision here. Stuck energy. Your Twin Flame, both of you are everywhere, but here in my readings, this is where the energy is the strongest. And it's the Hermit and it's in reverse. They're really missing you. This is the separation, but this is also... Yeah, they're kind of stuck in making some kind of decision. Again, this can also be you, and I kind of feel like it is, because you can see it in the Two of Pentacles. You know, the Pentacles are commitments, relationships, contracts, partnerships. So other, you know, a karmic situation, romantic, other, romantic I want to say, or again, family of origin, work, money, Pentacles are contra contracts in general, you know, and it's trying to make a decision here, trying to balance some things out that is going to be a right path. And again, I do feel an alignment for both of you here and in the Hermit card energy in reverse as well, Mercury and Virgo energy, you know, because it's where you go for some clarity and truth and trying to figure some things out. And it's coming in reverse here. So there's like a afraid to make some kind of mistake, some kind of move here, but the stagnancy is actually really strong. Look at this. Incredibly strong, but really trying to get the, the courage here, literally in the King of Wands, you know, which is a really a bold energy, a courageous energy here, holding on to this wand, which is, you know, on fire, the top, the crystal here. Of course, the lions, you know, the, even just the energy of the card with this passionate, urgent red color. It's like time to make some kind of decision here. So that's going on around your twin flame. I also feel for you. Yeah, look at this page of swords in reverse. So before we talk about this page of swords in reverse, I just want to show you this, this decision here, literally like getting this courage to make that in the very first placement. And then we're seeing the two of swords in reverse, which is indecision, feeling overloaded, like too much, needing to make some kind of compromise. Six of swords in reverse, stagnancy issues, trouble, trouble moving. Interesting. Because we saw coming in the six of cups and the chariot, then the six of cups came back with the three of pentacles. A lot of this, I feel like, is the work that's going on, but this is what's going on with your twin flame. And then the, the I want to say the ultimate, but yeah, look, page of pentacles in reverse too, of being stuck, a strong energy of being stuck because it's the hermit. You know, it's a major arcana in reverse coming here with the nine of wands in reverse. Interesting. Yeah, so this is really... They're afraid to make some kind of decision here. And what I want to tell you, too, is I think somebody is in a karmic situation and there are some legal issues around it. Page of Swords coming here in reverse. They're not, they're, 
Yeah, there's something that they're having a hard time dealing with here. Page of Pentacles also in reverse. It's around this connection. They're totally stuck here. They're thinking a lot about you and I feel wanting to communicate, but also trying to get something done. Again, this is a strong alignment. I feel like this is you as well. But there's some legal issues going on here. The Seven of Wands coming in reverse. That fiery en energy again. The Eight of Wands coming in reverse. Yeah, so Eight of Wands energy is, is kind of like... Some things are, something here needs to change and it's not. And it's around some legal issues. There are delays. Look at the, the delays. The, the stagnation. The stagnation. The indecision. It's all around this Two of Pentacles here. Is this around the Three of Cups in reverse? Yeah, so that's the star in reverse as well. The nine of pentacles in reverse. The eight of pentacles in reverse. The emperor. Divine masculine energy. So this is really clearly a reading today for a divine masculine who I feel is was, is the runner. Again, I, I don't oftentimes feel that it's just, just kind of like a straight, you know, this is what it is, but this is what it is today. Again, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energy, so you could be resonating with that in a different way. Aries energy, Mars energy. So this is a divine masculine energy who is quite literally in charge of I feel in a karmic situation here in charge, but in some ways not because they're really wanting to get what they want. But look at this. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse. So this is something that, you know, whether this is around this two of pentacles and a karmic, I feel like there is a karmic relationship here. But that could also be to money and work. There's some legal issues that are going on right now that this emperor energy is trying to work out. I think this might be around a connection. The eight of pentacles is also in revert, reverse. So, you know, it's sun and Virgo energy. And it's, I think this might be around, yeah, some money. Something here that they're needing to change. But it's connecting to this romantic, to this partner, this karmic partner that is in their life. Eight of wands in reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse. And what's interesting is 88, that is butterfly, it's like, it's butterfly energy. It's a new stage. So there is something here that I feel, I feel this is around either a separation of some sort with a partner could also be around money and work, but there's they're in some there's something here, some legal issues that are going on that they're trying to work out that are just not really moving. They're really stuck here, uh, afraid to make a wrong move. I do feel that it's a connection that maybe has some kind of hold financially on them. The Page of Pentacles here connecting with the Eight of Wands in reverse. You know, it's sort of like. They can't win either way, whatever decision they make. These three are yours. The Knight of Wands in reverse. An impulsive energy. Also look here with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. So this is the opposite of not being able to make a move. This is, well, this is really trying to push through some, this is, they're in a karmic situation here, and I do feel it's a, a romantic connection, but there's a lot of money and some legal issues involved. An impulsive decision here that has either been made or is going to be made around it. Pentacle again, contracts, relationships, money, work. Could even be, I want to say, 
you know, contracts around living situations. It's pretty strong here. But this is, yeah, like they're not going to give up. Look, it's right here with the Emperor energy. And it's here with the Knight of Wands coming in reverse, which is a really impulsive energy. The Ace of Swords in reverse. By the way, this Three of Cups, yeah. there is an energy here I feel like that, yeah, it's kind of like this move that they make will affect their reputation. This is, yeah, this is around a karmic connection, but it's involving, and it could be around separations or legal, you know, separations, one would say, but it's around some money and some like they're they're working it's like every time i feel like they're just making all this money and then it's just going back into whatever's going on here so here is the yonk you know that's trying to and it's kind of sideways look and that's yin yang energy that's divine feminine and divine masculine energy so there is a bit of an imbalance here and trying to figure out what to do, which is, you know, the emperor really goes for what the emperor wants. The emperor gets what the emperor wants. And here it's this energy of a lot of stagnation and decision. The star also in reverse. So it's the lack of clarity, not just trying to push through this cycle here. I feel like, yeah, that there. this is somebody here who's trying to Trying to, the Six of Wands look in reverse. Yeah, they're, they're trying to change something. They're really trying to change something in their life to get to move on to another cycle. But they're having, they're, there are a lot of roadblocks here. Legal issues, money issues. Interesting, the Seven of Wands in reverse. It's kind of like they get something done and then it's all undone again. Like they're working and then the money's gone again. There are dependents. There are people depending on this emperor energy here. Look, it's the six of wands in reverse. Justice, excuse me, justice. Oh my gosh. Jupiter and Leo energy, justice. Yeah, this is a karmic situation for sure. I'm wondering if you're involved in this. If there is somebody on the other end who knows about you, maybe not by name, but knows that their, their, their mind is somewhere else. But this emperor is really focused on working this out. It's just not working out right now. And this Three of Cups energy, Mercury and Cancer energy, I feel, one, this is a lot of around also the two of you. Here, look with the star energy in reverse. That they're not, they're not answering messages or responding, haven't been, I feel like, for a really long time. And it's interesting. It was kind of like a preparation coming into the reading today with the chariot. And the Six of Cups, and also, again, the Six of Cups coming back with the Three of Pentacles to say, okay, so I want you to know that I'm thinking about you and I really miss you. I and mean, I'm going through something right now. So if you want to hear this, come in and I want you to hear this. But because there's a lot about what, what's going on with me coming up, and that's really what's happening here. So this is Mercury Energy, the Three of Cups. And it is the lack of communication here with the star energy, Aquarius and Uranus energy. They're not really, yeah, there's a sadness around not being able to communicate with you. That is really established and clear. They're missing you. And here's the thing. I've been feeling this alignment throughout. So a lot of this energy of working something out around money could also be you and a connection that you're in. Because there's a strong tie to, obviously, the life that they're in. Yet the life that they're trying to have, they cannot seem to get through some of the obstacles that they want to get through. They're trying here. Ace of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So yeah, this is a lot of stress, a lot of mental blocks, totally stuck in their head. And they're also being, look, it's here with the Three of Cups. So there are other people I feel involved here. Also, that justice energy that came in, you know, fate, karmic loss, spiritual justice, Hermit in reverse. Somebody's keeping them stuck. It's like they're not letting them go. And part of it, too, is also in their head because they're, they're being judged by other people. 
I don't know if, if there's a car. Okay, so this is the thing. I'm also feeling like there is a karmic situation. That's what I'm hearing. So there's a karmic situation here that is talking and it's divine feminine energy. What well, this is what it is. It's a strong divine feminine energy, okay? That is kind of bringing other people into this connection so it has this divine masculine on kind of, in a really precarious position because they were trying to do things kind of their own way in between their partner, this karmic situation, but now there's all kinds of other people involved. I feel like there always have, there always has been, but now it's like in the light because this, their, this karmic situation, this person, I feel a divine feminine energy is talking to other people about them. There's a lot of gossip going on. Look, a lot of judgment being laid. They're telling some lies also kind of to benefit themselves because they don't want this divine masculine to move on. A lot of this is around money, but it's money and kind of like some control issues. But this six of wands, you know, is a victorious energy of being able to get past the five of wands, which are some challenges and some obstacles. And yeah, also some other, some rivalry energy around a karmic situation. Look, holding up the victory wreath, holding up the victory cup, holding on to a bouquet. A lot of this is reunion energy. Look at the wand here. Um, victorious here in the, in the wheelchair, interesting, bringing in some handicapped energy, you know, whether you see that as physical or also just other things going on with money, um, some mental anguish, look, because it's in reverse here and it's sort of like they get close to it and there are other, this, this person is kind of holding them back. Legal issues I feel like are being threatened or already happening. Because look at the strong energy of the King of Wands. On one hand, I feel like they're in this energy trying to work it out. But on the other hand, they're, they're trying to also ignore it. They're trying to like get away from it, this person, but it's not working. Because this is also around this other, this karmic situation. Look at this. They're kind of determined not to let this go. And they have involved a lot of other people. There are some lies being said here. Gosh, this is a really interesting energy here today because I don't know that this specific energy has come through before. I feel like it could get really intense, but this is kind of like, you know, because it's also the Eight of Wands energy of, of, and the Chariot of really wanting to change some things here, but totally being held back. It's like if they make one wrong move, something here, they could maybe lose a lot of money, lose a lot of respect, maybe their job, other because other people are totally involved here. And this soul connection energy, what can I say with somebody? Other somebodies, you know, there are a lot, there's more than just a karmic situation involved here. It's really strong energy. Kind of look, and they're also acting impulsively. They're kind of making some trouble, kind of, sort of, yeah. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is getting much clearer. This is getting much clearer. This is, yeah, they're making some trouble here with, with money, with other relationships. So there's a lot of, a lot, there just a lot of untangling going on here. And a lot of what they're trying to do, they're just getting met with blocks, Quite literally, the Eight of Pentacles. Hello, I just looked up and saw the camera. I'm not sure where that ended, but I'm pretty sure it's around what I was saying that this other person is trying to get them where it hurts, which is around money, relationships with other people, reputation. I do feel like it's involving um, work. The Nine of Pentacles also here in reverse. Lots of jealousy. This is somebody who has been working a lot and there there's like so they're they're actually they're really wanting their money too what can i say gosh because these are some financial setbacks that are happening around and part of that isn't just a sincere other contract let's say karmic situation that is just wanting their 
what they're due. They're also just kind of wanting it all. They're wanting to hold them back because they're also jealous. I think they might know about you or the energy of you or that there's something else. Because this emperor is working a lot, yet is still experiencing some financial setbacks and legal issues here. This is a karmic situation who just wants to get him where it hurts. And it's, it's kind of working right now. Gossip, lies, threatening with legal action or legal action has already gone on. And they're just in a place right now. So that's a lot of why this energy came through with that six of cups in the chariot, because that's, again, that's also about change, a journey, you know, and in that energy are obstacles. So that a, was a really clear message for you. They're missing you. They regret how they left things. They're, they're thinking a lot. They're trying to think about that. But right now, this is where they are. I'm hearing right now, this is where I am. I hope you understand, because it also came back with that three of pentacles. And you know, that collaborative energy of coming together and working something out. They're trying to do that in this situation they're in. Again, this, I feel like for a lot of you, this is the situation you're in too, because that's the two of pentacles and that's around that, this situation, you know, and this is Saturn energy, Capricorn and Saturn energy. And that Saturn energy, you know, can slow some things down, structure, rules, tradition, karma, obstacles. Look at this, the karma that is, is, the karmic situation and the eight of wands in reverse, the eight of pentacles in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse, my gosh. So they, they're just, they're not wanting to hurt anybody. They're just wanting to kind of get out clean here, but they're working a lot and all their, I feel like all their money's just kind of going. There might even be some hiding away of it because somebody wants it. Not just what they're do. They kind of want to get them where it hurts and it is hurting because there's people talking. There are other people involved. Yeah, gosh, you know, and so they just kind of get like there's a lack of confidence that's coming through. Look at this, the indecision, because there, this is the other thing. This is a situation It's came, it's come back in reverse. Okay. And I want to show you what's going on at the bottom of the deck, the magician in reverse. Yeah. This, so this is a situation too, where they're mad look at this that they have not been giving them what they want the attention that they want the, the because this is somebody who wants to move on but they're really really stuck in this energy there are this cycle is not over this cycle is not over the indecision is not just about oh somebody's indecisive and so they're not able to change things it's just it's tied around money other people reputation, work, even dwellings, I feel. Uh, this person is making a lot of problems, is behaving impulsively, is gossiping. There might even be some addictions involved. Three of Pentacles now coming in reverse. Yeah, this is, look at this. This is, so there's, gosh, it's one of these readings today. <laughs> you know, it's just, um, okay, so Archangel Gabrielle energy is coming in as, I'm having this moment. It's, look at the 33 here. It's a master number. The three of cups in reverse. The three of pentacles in reverse. So that's a divine, divine timing, communication, growth. So we know that you're not communicating. They're having a hard time communicating with their person. Things are not really moving financially. There's some major setbacks. This isn't anything as possible energy, but it's also an energy of Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors are working. It's the, this karmic situation that is the renewal is not here. That's the thing also about the eight. You know, it's an action number and it's around karma as well. It's also infinity. It's the lack of balance because there isn't, there is a strong indecision and lack of confidence around this emperor's energy because there's just a lot of people involved. And look at this. This is lots of gossip. This is... Um, yeah, going to other people and spreading some lies, affecting, affecting their ability around money, tying some of it up possibly legally, affecting relationships here. It's not that this emperor, I feel, is, you know, not, sh is like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? It's like they're trying to, but it's causing a lot of indecision because any move they make comes with really big repercussions. Do you know what I'm saying? 
that magician energy in reverse, Gemini, Virgo energy, Mercury energy, you know, being able to be focused and, and make your what you're wanting to happen happen here. It's the opposite of that. Not being able to take, take the action that they want. A lot of scattered energy. Unfulfilled potential around, I feel, this emperor who is actually working a lot, but also in what they want because there is a situation here that is holding them back. There is the infinity. I don't know if you can see that. Of course, again, the work that they're, what they're trying to do in their 3D life came through really strong in that Three of Pentacles, the messages that they sent you. And now we also see here that they're not be able to see eye to eye with this person. I don't think they even want to see eye to eye. They just are trying to destroy, I don't know, destroy them, but reputation, money, get them where it hurts, legal issues, but gossip and reputation keeps coming up money, work, that sort of thing. So yeah, this Mercury, this Hermit energy stuck in reverse, This they're feeling quite lonely on their own with this. They're really trying to figure this out. It's kind of like this energy here. This is somebody, yeah, in this connection who is, they're jealous. Perhaps, I, I don't know if you've been by name or even, or if they're just finding things or seeing things or they're feeling the energy. Some of you, they may know you by name, but I feel like your, your energy is here, that there is something else that they're committed to, why they're, yeah, trying to move forward here and they're just not, they're stuck. That's all that's coming through there in that energy. But this is the unfulfilled potential of the magician, you know, who has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, who's able to alchemize and work out whatever's going on and set things up. It's just not happening. Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse. They're, they're trying to work this out. What is in that four of pentacles? Sun and Capricorn energy. It's the sun in reverse. So it's a delay in things working out. There is a sadness around it and it's being able to just move move through this cycle that somebody's not letting them move through. They're here in this energy. They're kind of like, it's like being afraid to make a move, but they're also sending the message through for you. I mean, look, they're actually literally trying to hold on to money here too. That's the other thing. And relationships. Again, these are pentacles Commitments, relationships, contracts, partnerships. So everything, money, work, other relationships. They're holding, trying to hold on to things, including you. You're in here. You know, and look how fierce they're holding on to it. It's like, and this is a, this is the other thing. This is also a karmic who's coming through here in a, in a greedy way, also trying to hold on to actual money, okay? And relationships, like trying to sway them by spreading some lies. My gosh. It's coming in reverse here. So this is like a, a bankrupt energy, a vulnerable energy. And the bankrupt energy is coming through as far as finances that are being affected. The vulnerable energy, they are kind of getting them where it hurts. They are feeling stuck and vulnerable. They are reaching out. There is an SOS, a sting song. SOS, on and out and SOS is coming through for you. You are connected always in the four, in the 5D. And a lot of that energy that came through is, yeah. I, I feel like for a lot of you, this is an alignment. This is an alignment, but it really is a, a feeling vulnerable. It's like a mindset, but it also, I really feel like in terms of relationships and money, five of pentacles in reverse, the two of cups in reverse, the full energy. Yeah, look at this, the king of cups what they want, how they feel about you. Look at this. They don't like this separation. Oh my gosh. Four of pentacles in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse. They really want a new life. It can be too that this is involving. Again, it came through quite early in a new dwelling, a new place to live, a new home situation, you know. This is some hope around that that they're holding on to. The two of cups in reverse. So there's a couple of things going on here. This is the two of you, Venus and Cancer energy. This is the separation. 
But this is also around some breakup energy in the situation that they're in. Arguments. And look what they're doing all along here, trying to hold it together. Look at this. In enough ego that they're, they're getting some things done here. So that, that is here. And you can see the balance isn't quite here. You know, they're really trying to get through this without too much collateral damage, I want to say, to other people that they care about. But there's they're not, they're kind of on their own right now. I feel like this person has a hold on all of that. But look at this King of Cups here who's clear about how they feel too. This is a hopeful energy. I'm feeling this. I'm getting all kinds of tingles. And this is connected to that Fool energy, Aquarius and Uranus energy, the hero's journey, the Fool's journey, having hope for a new path, new beginnings here. It's strong. So how they feel about you also connecting with the King of Wands here as well. Kind of looping over that, I want to say. And yeah, this indecision in the Two of Swords energy, just feeling overloaded, confused about it. One thing they're not confused about is how they feel about you. So that's coming through again. The King of Cups energy, Pisces energy here with the Fool card. You know, this is really what they're thinking about. Look, being able to rise above all the conflicting energy in their life and look at the transformational energy, of course, of the butterflies. Yeah, they really want a new life here. This is incredibly clear. There is, they're holding on to some hopeful energy and they're also sending that through to you. Also connecting here the two of, of cups in reverse. Twin flame, you're in this energy, of course. And they do love and they do miss you. And this is the separation. But this is also, again, around this other connection that they're just not really interested anymore, which is not going very well with this person. It's, it's a pretty toxic energy, actually. It's a really toxic energy. I'm surprised we haven't seen the devil energy, but the devil energy is here. And Archangel Gabriel has already come through for me. Judgment energy, clarity in making decisions wake up. Do I feel like they're waking up completely and making this final decision. No, there's a lot of being held back. It's not even just indecision and insecurity and lack of confidence. They're also being literally held back, either with legal stuff, money. It's already either happened or they're being threatened with it. I feel like there's some they're being threatened with it, but this is a karmic who is jealous and who is trying to kind of get everything. And this is a divine masculine energy who's still working really hard. But this separation, some of the arguing, they're not, is not making this other person happy. It's connecting right with them because I'm feeling their energy in this page of cups, page of pentacles in reverse. They're making trouble. Literally, look at this. And look at this energy in the five of pentacles today. This is an energy of loss, Mercury and Taurus energy. It's worry. It's also around some financial loss, not feeling good. Physically, mentally, look at it. You know, <laughs> that sounded really aggressive. Sorry about that. What I like is that it's coming in reverse. You know, they've made some bad decisions here in the Four of Pentacles in reverse, but they don't really have anybody on their side in terms of the people that are around. So that's quite difficult. Again, you know, there is some, there is some financial loss that's here. But there's also the hope that's coming back in of, you know, that stopping or changing. But also, yeah, I feel like getting out of this situation, this, this troublemaker. And I like this for you because this is how they feel. And what they're trying to get here. Yeah, look at that. And bringing in the sun. Such a hopeful energy, a really beautiful energy working toward this outcome to the end of this cycle, the completion of an, a, a renewal. Near both here, the sunflowers, they grow toward the sun. And well, yeah, they're connected to the crown chakra, working things out. Look, just celebration here. Leo energy, the source, God, goddess, the universe, the divine the new beginning, all the opportunity, all the potential which we see is being held back now here in the magician energy. 
it's very much the energy that came through of, of, of doing what needs to get done, but sending that message through quite early that I want you to know before you go into this that I'm missing you and I'm trying to work this out. And I'm sorry for how I left things. I want to, we're going to take this Queen of Swords in reverse. I want to see what's coming in here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at this. Libra ruled by Venus. This is literally a lot of what is connecting here. Look to somebody who's lying and, and gossiping has put them in the Ten of Swords. Sun and Gemini energy. But the coming out of that, the new cycle is, is around the corner here. How close is that? I can't tell you. But this is the end of that, you know, the completion of that and the renewal, which they're trying to work on, but it's really involving a pretty heavy, intense, let's call it an energy, because there's that sun. And this is the sun in Gemini, you know, and well, yeah, we can see it here coming, but right in the middle of it is the Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra ruled by Venus energy around this, this love connection, let's say, you know, of just cold, being uh, not being kind, lying, <sighs> putting this King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so she, this person is definitely jealous, wants a piece of everything. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, we're going to talk about it, but I want to move the energy and ask some specific questions just for you. Then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. This is Venus and Taurus energy, and it's a kind of an alignment for both of you, I feel, because it's doing a lot of work, it's being patient, it's waiting, it's a delayed outcome. And, you know, as the situation is being assessed here I want to say look at the sunflowers you know connected to the sun to the growth of money new life energy your connection contracts look it's you know all the contracts here relationships partnerships there's a lot but that seven also is around timing it's controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't so it really is in the hands of the divine at this point and I feel like that's both of you here waiting we saw it, it came, it went. I want to move the energy, okay? And I want to just ask some specific questions, as specific as we can be. Or how about, is there anything you want to send through to our twin flame here today? Whether it be divine feminine, divine masculine. And again, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energies. But of course, you may resonate with one or the other. Is there anything more around that this emperor today, this divine masculine energy, wants to send through. There it is. It's the devil. It is here. The devil in reverse. They're sorry. Gosh, so they're apologizing to you. Major Arcana, Saturn energy. Saturn and Capricorn energy. Around, this is around this energy here that's quite toxic. They're trying to... Who's, there's a greedy energy coming through around this person who's trying to break them. I feel financially, it's around materialism. Yeah, they, okay. Again, the addiction energy is coming through too, so it can be around your twin flame. It can also be around the situation that they're in, driving them or another person. It can't even be your energy. But right away when I ask, this is the energy that came through. And it's Saturn energy in reverse, you know, Saturn structure and excuse me slowing things down tradition karma obstacles needing to be strong and persevere and be disciplined so they're apologizing but this they're also trying to literally detach from this devil energy that is here today i want to be respectful i'm going to leave it at that but we saw this coming yeah the higher font or excuse me high priestess divine Feminine energy. What can I say? Yeah. Who's clouding some of the decisions here? What decisions they're making? I do feel that it's around a divine feminine energy. Cancer energy. Keeping, like, not being able to make real clear decisions, too. You know, kind of clouding their insight. 
putting some fear in around money and possibly other, yeah, well, other relationships, money too, but reputation, work, and other relationships I feel that are involved. I like this Wheel of Fortune here as the last energy. We're going to look at these, but the last revealing because this is the turning point. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Remember that it's the cycles of life. It's always turning. One minute we're up, one minute we're down. It's a reminder. Fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. So a lot around putting your faith in the divine and the choices also that you need to make for you. Some good fortune energy coming through. I like that. New beginnings. Lots of potential. So that's, you know, around the outcome, really. A new beginning. Destinies intertwined. Deep soulmate connection. It can be that for some of you, you've known your twin flame and you even know that this families know each other. It won't be for everybody. But it also is just going to feel that way, you know, because that's the connection. But, well, yeah. Twists of fate, lots of them. But coming into your destiny, this is what all this, this, this is what's going on today. It's like a snapshot and it didn't get as intense as I thought it might, but it's still feeling pretty intense here. But I like that energy. And it's also ending with the Six of Cups again, which is the third time we've seen it now. Look at this. Okay, so... Here's the thing, Temperance, Archangel Michael, the angel for strength and protection. Still working that out. Major Arcana energy. There is a disruptive energy here. We already know. I'm going to leave it at that. It's a little bit of chaotic energy. It is around the timing. Archangel Michael just wants to get everybody to, to the truth, light the way to the truth for the hot, the path. Toward this outcome in the sun energy, quite literally. Okay? Work things out, restoring balance and harmony, being patient, which I don't think is a strong thing right now <laughs> of patience, you know. But getting everybody on the path to the truth for everybody's highest good, that's in that sun energy. So we see that here in the Wheel of Fortune, of course, that that eventually will be the case, but right now it's not. And this is, again, how they're ending the tarot. Both what was coming in before cards even came down, because your reading is always beginning the minute the camera is on. The Six of Cups now for the third time. It's divine number. It's divine timing. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. The divine also communicating with you here today. Look, connecting to this Ten of Pentacles. Right now, I'm going to tell you something. You know, not to, to dampen <laughs> this hopeful energy of this new cycle, of this long-term energy. Your connection, look, your soul connection here is really strong, of course. Twin flame energy, also soulmate energy. All of the feels that they have, the nostalgic energy, it's all here. And not to cloud that because it, it's connected here with the Ten of Pentacles of what they're wanting and what they're trying to move forward here. But I will say some of the disruptive energy is also here because they are in a long-term connection and it does involve a lot more people. This is really long-term energy, Mercury and Virgo energy. And that Mercury and Virgo energy of the Hermit in reverse, it's also why they're kind of stuck there, afraid to make some moves because the, the chaotic energy, you know, the disruptive energy we already know is coming from here somewhere in a connection that they're in. But they're also sending this through, okay? So there's a message, what you're seeing or hearing online is not true. So you might be thinking things are going a certain way. Maybe you already know, but what they're projecting. So some of you already know that, but they're validating it. Look at it, sort of like those pictures of like, everybody's looking like everything's good, but you know what's going on behind there. So this is somebody to the situation that they're in, and it could also be you that doesn't want other people that in, on one hand, not just your not just your twin flame, but the situ the karmic situation they're in is projecting to people a certain way online to and to them, but behind the scenes is telling a lot of people some lies and it's kind of playing dirty, I want to say, but is projecting a certain here for everybody else. So maybe that's what you're seeing. It's quite chaotic. It's not. I feel like what's going on. So yeah, and they're thinking a lot about you. They're holding on to this, but they're also in this, if that makes sense. 
And that Wheel of Fortune was the last thing that came through, and I like that. Okay, and so there's also an apology here for not responding to you. Hoping that you hear these messages and take them to heart here now, that you know what they're trying to say, because they haven't been responding. It's an ignoring energy, you know? So that's also coming through and, and kind of putting a damping damp, damper <laughs> set of word on things, you know, the lack of hope and renewal. And okay, you know, this Ten of Swords energy is quite strong. I do feel the alignment here. So it could be for a lot of you, a lot of what was coming through was around your situation as well. My infinity cards I was feeling drawn to today and I'm still wanting to bring them in. So let's just see if there's any insight that's coming through that you might need to hear or see the present. Yeah, so this has been a reading around what's going on currently. Uh, the chaotic energy, look here around a long-term connection that they are in and it's involving a lot of relationships, money, but also people. Repeating numbers, home, yeah, look. So it's around, it's literally around this Ten of Pentacles. So some of the messages that they're wanting to send coming through is around repeating numbers. Interesting. Also interesting that Six of Cups coming through for the third time, you know. And yeah, so that of course is six, six, six. I'm going to leave it at that because some people think of that as double energy. It's, you know, you could think of it that way in many ways. I will have to say that energy is pretty strong here today. But that's also an energy of balance, you know, and it's out of balance energy. And we already know that. So it's around the present situation that they're in. And they are trying to send you some messages around that. So repeating numbers that you are seeing and I could tell you all day what they mean to me. And a lot of them will tie into your reading. But a lot of times, some of these numbers that you see, you have your own feeling about that. And that's okay too. Clarity. So receiving some clarity around that. But also we know there's a lot that you're... I'm hoping that you've received that here today. So let's see what else that is around. Goals around this emperor energy today what they're trying to work out but also for you and your goals in the present here this wheel of fortune so things changing I like this energy a lot it doesn't feel that right now I know but I do feel if you're experiencing some financial issues and a lot of the alignment of what's been coming through around your twin flame that is going to be changing and I do feel that it's this year it's already starting to kind of reverse but it it has been really heavy I know SMS and timing so hearing from your person when divine timing what can I say SMS that's a text message so it can be that you have already or this is just a reminder that it's around timing here because I do feel that in that star energy that came through of not responding. Repressed, yeah. I wouldn't say so much around their emotions. They have been, but look at that King of Cups landed here with the Six of Cups, which we know is for the third time here. Divine timing, communication, growth. SMS, timing, King of Cups. So how they're feeling, that's coming through now. What's going on? But also perhaps hearing from them. This, oh, Sorry, guys, that camera again. I think this is going to be a long one. <laughs> I was talking about the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. So the repressed energy of how they are feeling about you. There is some of that still going on only around because they have to get a lot of stuff done. They have a lot of goals to get out of this mess that can also be used. Some fi again, some financial stuff, legal stuff here. It's a lot. It's a lot. We don't need to repeat the entire reading. But yeah, so that's just to get through it. But this is also just repressed in how they're feeling in general, just trying to get out of whatever situation this is. Watch for the signs and fear. So yeah, they're what can I say? Goals, look, fear. We know that that's connected. There's a lot of that here because somebody's holding money and relationships over their head. So repeating numbers and watch for the signs. These are really direct for you, Twin Flames, for what it is that you are 
feeling and feeling like you want to hear. You may have already been been receiving a lot of repeating numbers and a lot of signs. So watch for watch for the signs and repeating numbers that they're communicating with you and validating a lot of the messages that are here today. Okay. Channeled love messages, love messages from your twin flame. Thank you for being there for me. You are now part of my life and I will never let you go. That's also that four of pentacles in reverse energy. And I'm just going to kind of put things where I put them today. I listened to the wrong people. I cared too much what they thought. That's still going on. I feel, sweetheart, I cannot do anything without thinking of you. Watch for the signs, repeating numbers. We have been through every up and down together. From the first day I was attracted to you, now it's not only the attraction but the love. Six of Cups, King of Cups. I had been dreaming about you even before I met you. My six word love story, I can't imagine life without you. That's really strong, Six of Cups. Three times here. They're really trying to send that through to you because that is your, they're really, through all of it, they're wanting to remind you that they are thinking about you. They do regret how they left things and they are thinking about when they can see and or talk to you again. Some of you maybe haven't seen each other before. You inspire a love in me that I never knew was possible. Yeah, and it's, it's, you know, it's like somebody knows that. Maybe they know exactly why, maybe they don't, but they're definitely trying to hold them back. Without you in my life, everything is meaningless. My pride and ego got in the way. So here with the Emperor card, connecting with the star in reverse. Also with some of that Ace of Swords in reverse energy of possibly maybe not being honest with you about something. But it's also around the bad decisions that they made listening to other people. So perhaps somebody in their life that's been kind of guiding them or that they're close to, because that's connecting with the emperor as well. Channel song messages, love messages from your twin flame through song. The first time I ever saw your face, I thought the sun rose in your eyes, and the moon and the stars were the gifts you gave. First time ever I saw your face, Roberta Flack. It can be songs you resonate with, you know, songs you don't resonate with, you don't know, you don't like, that's all okay. There's always a sentiment behind a song. I miss you, you know, I was wrong, that sort of thing. And there's always going to be things within the song, within the reading, within everything that you're going to resonate with that I have just no idea, you know? that I, I'm not bringing forward, but you are seeing it or you keep hearing it or seeing it or you see it the first time and say, yeah, that, that was for me. Oh, I see the light and the heat in your eyes. Oh, I want to be that complete. I want to touch the light, the heat I see in your eyes, Peter Gabriel. So songs also watch for the signs. Songs, definitely. I am the runner. Yeah, you are the chaser. My twin in flames till we meet again. Flame Twin, Nora Jones. Again, however you're resonating, it is a strong energy of a runner. And that role can be reversed. Because, honey, your soul can never grow old. It's evergreen. Baby, your smile's forever in my mind and memory. Thinking out loud, Ed Sheeran. Evergreen are the leaves in the victory wreath and the reunion wreath that do not change color. This is your connection, the Twin Flame journey. I remember us alone waiting for the light to go. Don't you feel that hunger? I've got so many secrets to show shine years and years. You, soft and only you. Lost and lonely you. Strange as angels. Dancing in the deepest oceans, twisting in the water. You're just like a dream. 
just like heaven, the cure. I'll be your dream, I'll be your wish, I'll be your fantasy, truly, madly, deeply, savage garden. I am the lost, you can't be found. My twin in flames, lift me from the ground. Flame twin, Nora Jones. Coming through again. And being apart ain't easy on this love affair. Two strangers learn to fall in love again, faithfully journey. It's from me, it's to you, for your eyes. It's a weight, a wonder that is wise. I am here, you are there. Love is our cross to bear. Love is our cross to bear, John Gorka. I feel like this is your song today, if you haven't heard it. If you're a regular at the Tarot Closet, it may have come up for you before. It's here again. It's the same mistake. It's been a long time running. It's been a long time running. It's well worth the wait. Long time running, tragically hip. Yeah, that's really the message they're sending you here today. It's really strong. Everything that's going on. It's such a shame for us to part. Nobody said it was easy. The scientist, Coldplay. Lots of, of messages coming through for you. Yours was the first face that I saw. I think I was blind before I met you. First day of my life, bright eyes. A few more, and then we're going to bring in, close out with some more channeled love messages to inflame. For your midweek reading, I don't always read in the middle of the week, but I was feeling drawn. I, oh my gosh, I am the lost, you can't be found. My twin in flames lift me from the ground, flame twin Nora Jones. That's the Ten of Swords, that's the SOS that was coming through. It's again, it came back. Calling on your energy, your, ener your energy. Sending, yeah. I like this. It doesn't mean like, call me. <laughs> you know, it's the energetic healing, your connection. Where did this go? I am the lost. Look at that. Gosh, and that was the last one coming through. Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. I only have eyes for you, dear. I only have eyes for you, the flamingos. If you ever feel alone and the glare makes me hard to find, just know that I'm always on the other side. Mirrors, Justin Timberlake, the mirroring, the triggering, your alignment together, you're never apart in the 4 and 5D. And that's really strong here too around the dream connection in the 4D from this emperor, this fourth card today. Messages in there for you. Yeah, and this energy that they've been sending through to you. Because I don't want to lose you now. I'm looking at the other half of me. Mirrors, Justin Timberlake. It's coming in again. That's also Four of Pentacles in reverse energy. You are the hider. I am the seeker, my twin. I'm in flames. I'm rolling about. Flame twin, Nora Jones. That's also coming through here again. Look at this. Really, really uh, interesting. It's kind of like a shift here. So that's kind of, that's your energy, I feel. But it could also be uh, the opposite, you know. A thousand angels dance around you. Oh, I am complete now that I found you. I knew I loved you, Savage Garden. No one will win this time. I just want you back. I'm running to your side, flying my white flag, my white flag, surrender, Natalie Taylor. I knew I loved you before I met you. I have been waiting all my life. Savage Garden, I knew I loved you, also came again. Wow. Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Then we're going to close your reading. I'm sorry I ghosted you. I feel your energy. I stare into your eyes in photos, that page of swords energy. Interesting because it's in reverse here. 
But as far as it's coming down again is what I wanted to say. Our love is eternal. These are connected. I need you. You radiate light. We are one. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm hurting right now. It's funny because when I heard that, I thought um, I heard, I sorry I hurt you, I'm hurting too. And then this came down, I'm hurting right now. I wished on a star tonight. I don't know how to fix this. Yeah, that energy is here. That's the hermit in reverse. What they're wanting, what they want to get, what they're being kept from. But ultimately, that's time. It's the cycles of life. You're here and then you're here. It does change. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self twin flame, is please forgive me. Going all the way back to the start of your reading. So they do want you to hear this. That's a strong... Validation. Beautiful Twin Flame, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video. If you feel inclined, of course, to share it, that would be amazing. Really helps to keep the channel moving. And if you are not a subscriber to the Tarot Closet, I would really appreciate it if you joined the channel. Your Twin Flame readings are weekly once, sometimes twice. Eventually, you'll be getting them every day when your channel is up, which is still coming. <laughs> so thank you for that. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you and all that you do for your highest good and the highest good of those around you. I look forward to seeing you at another Twin Flame reading or love reading, whatever you are enjoying here at the Tarot Closet. Until then, I wish you well. I'll see you then. Bye, Twin Flame.